Hello everybody, it's Linda here. It's the 18th. Well, maybe it's the 19th, but it's in the middle of the night. And this is what I found today. I found this behind the hotel that I'm staying at in. It reminds me a lot of Grandma Willow. <laughs> you know, on Pocahontas. Which is very interesting because a lot of people tell me that I remind them with the way I speak, I guess, or whatever, or answer questions of Grandma Willow. But anyways, I thought that was really cool. I found this today. Then, I went and did my scouting trip, and I went and found a house. Um, my honey came home from work, and right before he fell asleep, he was chatting with me about this house and or about uh, where I should probably go and try to scout and he said that I should check out this tree house uh, at this place called the tree house subdivision or whatever and kind of mumbled a few things and fell asleep and so interestingly enough I went and found this house and as I was going towards the hill my phone started making beeping noises so I had to pull over, you know, for my bike or whatever, and shut my phone off. I don't know what the hell was going on, but somehow a button had gotten pushed, but it started making me beeping noises. Well, then I noticed this house up on the, on the side of the hill, and really, like, all I could see was this part of it, you know, just the very top here. But, and so, and I noticed it was log, so I started, like, you know, going up the hill a little bit or whatever and got up to the hill and then I noticed that the house was there and it was for sale and right back here is where the two car garage is and this house looks like my design from the outside the rock and everything and all and, and there's some interesting things like this house comes from British Columbia or I mean all of the logs came from British Columbia and I think that's kind of interesting, and um, I think I maybe have roots there somewhere, <laughs> because other things have led me there, too. I wanted to show you something that I noticed when I was looking at these pictures later on. See this? That's like a green orb, just sitting there for no apparent reason, and I don't know where it's coming from. I can't <clears throat> see anything that's making that. And then I noticed on this... There are exactly eight lights. Do you think they did that on purpose? I guess that's a possibility. Well, and then there's the address. And their address is, let's see, it's uh, 37045 William William. Uh, interesting, when I saw that, I don't know what it's about. Okay, I do have the middle name of Echo, but I met these people from Peru, and when she asked me what my name was, I told her my name was Linda. And she goes, oh, ha, 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 Linda, Linda. Okay. So it's been a joke ever since I met her. And we've been friends for, you know, the last 10 years or so. But she always calls me Linda, Linda. And I really don't get it. And she didn't know my middle name yet. So I really am confused about that. But she's Peruvian. So she calls me Linda, Linda, whatever that means. Maybe somebody can answer this question. But anyways, um, we go to a Dalton reunion every year um, for my, it's my dad's family or whatever. And we go to a Dalton reunion every year over in Monticello. And it's the William slash Dalton burial grounds is where I go to get buried at and such. But anyways, I just thought that was interesting that it says William William. Anyways, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but here's the 37045. Well, when I was shot in the eye, that's when I walked into this world. Um, and so 370 was the address of the house that I lived in when I walked into this world. Um, and right now I'm 45 years old, so I thought, well, that was kind of interesting. And, you know, then the, it's got all of the stuff it needs. I don't know what it looks like inside. I haven't seen it yet, but it is for sale. So maybe I can get into this house somehow. But anyways, um, and then I left the house and there was like a, you know, I was coming down the road and down the hill and everything. And then there was this sign that said Old Town Brooklyn. And I was like, oh, okay, interesting. And then I saw some old stores, old buildings, old houses, you know, like look like an old town or whatever. And um, 
And then I went and I looked at right after the Old Town Brooklyn, there was a couple of shops to the side. And one of the shops said, look like the storefront of, of many dreams that I've had where I've, I owned the shop where I was running, you know, a, I don't know, in the dreams, I've always been doing different things out of the same damn shop. So who who knows? But anyways, I thought that was interesting too. I mean, I don't know, is this the way it works? You just sort of find stuff and then, and then Grandma Willow comes to you to, I don't know, help you on your way as your totem. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know how, how, how it works and I don't know, but I'm here in this town called Steamboat looking for a house that my unseen guide said was here. And now the house is a house I drew and it's a house that I, you know, have the drawings of and the drawings are right here of my, of my house. This was a fatal attempt at the outside of my house. Didn't ever really draw that. But so I have I have my drawings of my house and everything. And I'm here because my unseen guide said my house was here and it's been built. And they've been leading here, me here for the last 10 years. And then they told me it was time to come. So that's why I'm here now. So yeah, I don't know. You, you know, we'll see what happens. And I guess time will tell. And I'm, you know, trying to advertise my little adventures on this whole quest because... You know, when it really does happen and manifest, then it'll help all of you manifest stuff too. Anyways, I love you all. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later.